you buckled? Finn, are you buckled? Rosie, you buckled? Daddy buckled? I am not buckled. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the garage door closed. Oh, are you you're buckled? I'm buckled. Mommy's buckled! Let's go! Where are we going today? Cora, where are we going? Where are we going? The way! We're going fishing! I will, I will actually go in the way. Fishing is part of my one of my favorite things to do because you have to have Yeah, we all love it. Cows, you Bunch guys. of cows here. Bye bye, Mubasis! Bye bye, sweetheart! Oh, you look so cute! <laughs> hey guys, what, what, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Fine, dude. You've been here before. She's got boots. If she gets wet, she'll get wet. I want to try this for a minute, Finny, then I can help you, okay? I'm just testing the water out. <laughs> Scout, you look very cute. Hey. Hey. Is that really? What? Is that really? If you harass people while they're fishing, it's right here, mommy. Like you. <laughs> the what? And keep putting this on it. Okay. Let's figure this out. I'll be right back. I'm going potty. All right, Alex. Yo ha, way ha. Yo ha, way ha. My son Finnegan asked me to help him put line on his reel. I have never done this before, but I absolutely love to learn how to do new things. I thought I could learn how to do this so my husband could fish more. He gave me his handy dandy tool to get the line off. <laughs> Turns out putting new line on a rail takes two people if you want to make sure that it's done well. <laughs> the first thing I had to do was take off the old remaining line. Then I grabbed the new spool of line and threaded it through the eyelets. Lucky for me, it's a kid's rod and there were only three. Then I took the line and put it underneath the bale. Ben. Oh! <laughs> Someone got tangled. Okay. I asked my husband what kind of knot to make, and he said just to double knot it. Finn used to have a kid's spin cast reel on his rod. He was really good at casting it out, which made it really fun for him. This new reel we had laying around is a spinning reel, which is completely different in how you cast out your line. So it'll be interesting to see how he does. Once I had it knotted onto the reel... I used our handy dandy tools that helped clip the excess line off of the knotted ends that we would not be using. From there, Alex held the spool of line as I reeled it on. Once we had all the line on, we took our handy dandy tool and clipped the line and I held on to the end of the line, took a creature bait and just double knotted it to the end of the line. I did it without a hook because my kids are still learning how to cast. I want them to have the weight of the lure without the chance of hooking themselves or any of us who are standing around them. If we ever go out to actually fish, Alex and I will cast them out for them and they will reel them in themselves. But today we are just practicing, so a creature bait will do. I got it all ready for you. Thank uh, you. No, look at me. I love you. Have fun. You know, I put this stuff on mine. That way is actually really fun to walk. If you walk up there and walk up around, see where I'm pointing? Yeah. Plug the rock.
super big bird's nest. <laughs> We're getting back to being able to fish. for joining us on our fishing excursion today we hope you like it and eventually we'll have more fishing content for you make sure that you like this video and subscribe we'll see you next time i just got like one bass no equal. you didn't i'm just kidding i'm just making a joke out of it i think i just got you're a true fisherman already <laughs> one bass equal